A brief hands-on with the AT&T exclusive Galaxy S8 Active. Samsung's Galaxy Active line has been around for quite some time. With the Galaxy S8 Active being the fifth generation in Samsung's Galaxy Active line. And this device is quite a bit different than the previous iteration. For starters, there are capacitive buttons instead of physical buttons, like on the Galaxy S7 Active. And that can be either a plus or minus depending on your needs. The new Active device also ditches the camouflage back in favor of a titanium gold model, like this one, or there's also a meteor gray model. Now, unlike the ultra sleek Galaxy S8, you don't get that curved display that wraps from edge to edge. Here, you actually get a raised metal band that wraps all the way around the device with rubber bumpers on each edge. So this device is built to withstand drops and falls, unlike the regular Galaxy S8. Now, the rear of the Galaxy S8 Active isn't metal. It's made of a plastic-like material that can work with wireless charging. You'll also notice that the fingerprint sensor is in the same annoying spot that it is on the regular Galaxy S8. But the most outstanding difference and the reason you would probably want to buy this device is for the battery life. You get much more battery in here, 4,000 milliamp hour battery for 33% more battery life, and it makes a big difference in day-to-day -day usage. And like in previous active phones, you get the active button to pull up all sorts of stats about your phone, but you can also press and hold it to invoke Bixby, which is Samsung's voice assistant. And it works similar to Siri. You can ask it things like what's the current temperature in certain locations, etc. But does this thing live up to the active mantra really? Well, Yes, but it's less of a differentiating factor these days because most flagship phones have a measure of water resistance. In fact, the Galaxy S8 is IP68 certified, so is this device right here. So there's less of a reason to go with the Active based on water resistance alone. However, there's the increased battery life that we mentioned, and it goes beyond just water resistance. This thing can withstand a drop from up to five feet, that was about a three and a half foot drop. But this thing can withstand a drop much better than the all glass Galaxy S8 can, obviously. Uh, it has that metal band, it has the four bumpers, the rubber bumpers, it has the raised edge around the screen, and it's just better suited to stand up to wear and tear. Share your thoughts down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Google.